Hello fellow tributes and funny thing, I watched the Moji movie and this is the reveal. I mean review. Damn it. Just put it up. I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, so as I said, I saw the Emoji movie and it was amazing. The music, old and new. The way it was voiced, ah, oh, so good. There's every emoji. Spoiler alert warning now. Gene is an emoji that can't seem to stay one emoji. The story is that the emojis have one emotion to stick with, but Gene is an outcast. He ends up meeting the high five emoji. The high five emoji thinks that the robots that were sent to delete Gene were sent to delete him, but really it was because he was an outcast. The, they then settle on being reprogrammed. Along the way, he meets up with one of the best hackers named Hijack in a bar, more like an illegal app, you know, with pirates, internet trolls, a Trojan horse, viruses, etc. They end up not reprogramming, but not reversing what, sh what Hijack was doing uh, to change Gene fast enough, made him go, meh, because that's his emotion. The film goes back and forth between phone world and real world, and interaction in the phone translates to the phone doing something randomly, therefore almost killing the whole world in the phone by having the kid with the phone delete everything. The only problem I had with this movie was that the smiley emoji lady was really creepy. The movie w has no problem with adding in trends old and new in the best way possible. I laughed throughout most of it. Another problem is that the emojis are kind of racist, but the people who made it, I'm pretty sure... We're trying to attack the problem of racism and inequality, as well as the teenage hardships. I recommend you watch it no matter how old you are. I'm 15 and loved it. My dad loved it. It's great. 10 out of 10 IGN, will I just say. I also can't wait for the... Wait, what? They already have memes of this? Okay, well, I must have missed them. Well, that's all I have to say. Stay frosty, my fellow tributes. Peace.